Uh. Circles are small, keep a certain few, only ever us, just the perfect crew. People ask for Biggie no more the Zvik names of Paputo. What up everyone and welcome to a new video on my channel regarding to music. It's been a while. It's been a while, yeah. I'm trying to make my content as diverse as possible and I wanna be more diverse so my channel can grow more and stuff, you know? If you know what I'm saying. So I actually realized that I did all these rap reactions and that kind of stuff, but never actually showed Bosnian rap. Well, not a lot of it. In some clips, if you watch all my videos, you'll notice that there are some, some Bosnian rappers in there. So I decided to make a video about the top five Bosnian rap songs. These are my personal top five rap songs. Not the best five because you cannot make a top five that's not personal because music is really something that's uh, that has personal preference to say so so don't take any offense if your favorite bosnian rap song is not in the list but what you can do if you think you can make a better top five or show your top five comment your top five and i'll check it out because um, of course there are some songs that i know that they're really good but i left out these songs that i picked are the best in my opinion uh, and I'm gonna explain why. I made a top five in a random order, but I did put the top two songs or my top two songs on number one and number two, of course. Um, so the rest is, I don't know, shared places to say so. First song, not really known. It has like 400,000 views. It's Frankie with the song Haito. Why did I pick this song above other songs of Frankie? Because as I said in previous videos, in other reaction videos, I like music with a soul, music with a story, and that's the same thing with rap. I like when rap refers to something, to a situation that's really happening, to a story that we can all refer refer to, to something bad that happened, something good that happened. Haito is a rap of Frankie that just describes the whole situation in Bosnia. Who the mafia is, we are being divided by our religions, and th this song has such a good text. If, if you're a Bosnian, you, you should listen to this song and listen to the text. Like, uh, not all the rap music has good beats, but if you listen to the, to the text and you really enjoy the text, then you'll, after a while, you'll enjoy the beat as well. So this is something that I would recommend to Bosnian viewers, but also to international viewers just to listen to, because it gives a real good description on what the situation in Bosnia is like. Number four, I have a bit newer rapper to say so. Um, well, he's been he's been around for a while. It is uh, Yala Brat or Jala Brat. Il it just doesn't matter however the fuck you want to pronounce it and before he became this really commercial well not any more really rapper more pop music trap kind of i don't know how you describe that genre whatever um but this was like one of his raps his actual raps and it's called ijala brat with the song dom he's rapping about he raps about the song Dom, Dom, which means home. Um, he's rapping about the, the hard path that he's in, really depressing things in life, how karma gets back to you. Um, he raps a bit about drugs and stuff and uh, how he doesn't know if he's gonna, every night when he goes out, doesn't know if, he go, if he's going to come home because of the things that he does. The flow is really good, it's a pretty decent beat and this is actually one of his actual raps before they really went commercial and he gained like 50 kilos. But nevertheless, the new songs are really commercial, but I, I enjoy them um, to some extent. The beat and stuff, it's really good. Sometimes they have a good line. Uh, a lot of stuff is not really the things that I like, you know, money, bitches, cars, eh, eh, standard bullshit. That's why I didn't pick many of many other of Frankie and Edo Maika song because that's more like the real rap thing where you hit on someone's mom and stuff. You know, you drop bars, 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 but bars aimed at your opponent. And I really prefer the rap side of Edo Mike and Frankie where they tell stories. And storytelling is really a big thing when it comes to music for me. So that's why I picked this song, Yellow Brat with Dom, where he tells an actual story uh, referring to the to the sad life and situation that he's in. There is this 
new song and I did not pick it really because of the text because, but it's well it's not really new but it's a newer song it's from the 10th of May 2018 um, it's Frankie Contra and Indigo with the song Tupac Amaru and um, it, I picked it because it's the first video clip that I can actually say that it is in really high quality it, it's really commercial it looks like all the other rappers and things from era to say so and it's the first time I actually see Frank Frankie going going this way man I don't know but um, I mean usually I'm really against it but be just because these are the guys who are who are rapping and the song they made the lines they made and the first time that they're actually producing such a modern commercial thing it, I don't know it's really funny to see and actually worked out really good so uh, there we go be Michael Camaro Krvava benga, slava me vječna, tupa kamaru Mogu me spengat, vas da ću bengat, šaljite gardu, platite nastup Pred vašim očima Sodoma Gomora živit će le... That's uh, number three. For number two, the, these are the, the top two that I was talking about earlier on in the video. Um, these are the two that I actually put on number one and two because these are the best storytelling raps they ever wrote, in my opinion. Second best song in my opinion from the top 5 is Edo Maika with the song Babu Mo. He's rapping about how life is after losing your father in the war. He's rapping about all the things that he could not share with him. Um, he's rapping about his children, how they are playing football, how funny they are, etc. And that how he would react to them, etc. And it's really a deep song um, because he also raps on his... Raps about the way he tried to find his dad, how... Um, stories from other people to him to a concentration camp and someone who was in the concentration camp actually knew him etc really a deep song but he he, he oh, the story behind it like even telling this now I mean how can you not say that that's a good rap if someone could rap with a good flow and a good beat and tell this kind of heavy story in a rap song that just respect man respect Edo Mike if you're watching this you, you are the person that got me into rap in general. There's number one. When it comes to a story, um, I, I may have explained this song earlier, but number one is Frankie with the song Izgubia Mistovi. And the song, I'm listening to the old version, so I'm, I'm gonna show you guys also the old version of the song because the new version is just too much bass, too much, nah, it's just killing the vibe. Perhaps about how he's losing his friend to drugs, how the stages on how he saw his friend decay. Uh, got into trouble etc the things that he did and how he died and how he just realized what that he didn't do anything on the day of his funeral and how he visits his dad and mom still and how his little brother is, is going bright future ahead of him etc so it's it's really really a deep song but Regarding to the flow, the beat, etc., I think it's just a bit better than Edo Mike with Baba Moy, but the storytelling in, of Baba Moy is way, way, way deeper. I say that just because, of course, I'm Bosnian, so I can relate to a lot of that stuff that he's saying. And uh, Izgubim Misnovi is really more general theme, so... So I hope you guys like this top 5 of Bosnian rap. To see more top 5s or top 10s of certain songs or certain countries with their music. Um, just comment down below on, on what you would want to see a top 5 or top 10 of. Not a top 5 or a top 10, but my top 5 or my top 10 because, as I said, music is really personal preference. Comment it down below. If you think that you have a better top 5 or I left something out, just comment your top 5 down below. 
Um, if I really like it, I'm gonna give you a little heart thingy on the comments because I'm such a nice guy. Ooh. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more of my content. Click on the notification bell because otherwise you're not gonna notice when I upload a new video, uh, which would be really sad, you know? Really, really sad, it would make you cry. Leave a like if you actually like this video and I thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next video. Ciao. Nah, still not like Jala, brat.